Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Backfire Simpson TV. I'm Clyde Whiting, and tonight we are back in GT4 TCR action with the BSTV GT4 TCR Challenge Season 7. Yes, you heard that correctly. Season 7, Round 1 from Road America. In the booth with me tonight, I have the evergreen Mr. Bill Switzer. Good evening. Good evening, Clyde. Good evening, everybody. Unfortunately, we could only get an amateur cameraman tonight. That is Mr. Sam Boozing. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. So, Bill, um, let's have a quick chat about the series. Um, and then we will be going live to do our head-to-head -head challenge draw. So, um, the same three GT4 cars. Um, and we have eight of them at the moment but iRacing um, brought in the Hyundai Elantra and the Honda Civic into the TCR field and by golly it looks to have uh, brought some people into the racing yeah it certainly has it's it's kind of exciting news really it uh, it kind of gives the TCR a little different look because you got three different kinds of cars and uh you know uh my understanding which i just picked up from uh, my colleague here is that they all have different attributes uh in one way or another so it's it's it, it's it's going to be interesting to see how they do against each other and what a nice field of cars too that's really excellent i understand we have i think you said 20 or 21 that have enrolled for this and gee that's marvelous it's taken a while but it's nice to have them and and eight GT4s. A couple of weeks ago, we didn't even know we we're going to have any GT4s. So that's good news too. But thought it'd be exciting on uh, starting on the best course in the United States, which is really a, another plus. Yeah, um, you know. So yeah, big field, especially for the TCRs. Um, GT4s not so big, but what I would say is we have got a class field. So um, I believe the the racing re will be really really good. Um, I'm hearing from last night's officials um, that they have been, um, shall we say, a bit of a crash fest. Um, although, um, you know, I know we are biased because it's our league and we broadcast it, but this does tend to be one of the um, cleanest. Uh, friendliest, I say cleanest just as I see somebody smashing into the wall in the background, uh, that'll be Marco Lewert. Um yeah but you know as as driving standards go um, so far over the six previous seasons Bill the, the driving standards in this have been absolutely fantastic yeah and, and I think uh, that has to do with the basically the same core group racing all, all, most of those seasons together. It makes a big difference. You get to learn each other a little bit better, and, and they, they, they end up having respect for each other, which makes it a lot nicer. It's, this is a great group of guys. A uh, couple new ones in here I'm not super familiar with, but I'm sure they'll blend in just fine. They're probably friends of, you know, whoever here. So it's um, absolutely the, it is, it's the, best, it's the best group on iRacing. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, so, um, you know, let's hope that uh, what what has been in the past carries on through into season seven and we get uh, the exciting close nose to tail clean racing that we are used to um, but anyway um, this season uh, in uh, most of our leagues um, we have introduced uh, a new feature called the simability head-to-head -head challenge um, and basically it started off, uh, I think it was l not last weekend, just gone the weekend before with the 992 challenge. Um, so what we do is we draw drivers into groups um, and then over the first six races, um, the drivers will score their points that they get in the races. Um, at the end of round six, we will have top two drivers in each group. We'll go through to the quarterfinals. Um, they then race 
head to head so it will be the winners of the groups versus the runners up of the groups um obviously that will put four drivers through into the semi-finals which are run over race nights uh, nine and ten um race night 11 is free and then we have finals night on race day 12 where the two drivers that got through all of the groups and the head-to-heads uh, will battle it out for um a bstv beanie hat woo um and then just to make the other two that lost in the semi-finals feel a little bit better we're also going to do a third and fourth playoff um, so that will be a full thing on TCR because we've only got eight drivers in GT4. We're going to draw them into two groups and then the top two in each group will go through directly to the semi-finals. So there won't be quarterfinals in the GT4. Um, but again, uh, the two semi-final winners will race off in round 12 um, to win a BSTV beanie hat. Um, so, Sam, um, I don't know if you can get the funky or scary wheel up, depending on how people look at it. Oh, obviously, I will have to watch this on the broadcast, so it that will be a little bit... thing in the world. Uh, it will be a little bit delayed for me. So, this is the GT4 wheel. Um, two groups, so first name out will go into group one, second name into group two, and so on. So, Sam, spin away, please. And the first name is... The useless one of them. Useless kneecap. Ooh, so Wobbly Kneecaps goes straight into Group 1 in GT4. Okay, spin away, Sam. Who's going into Group 2? That face in the middle is very funky when it's rolling. It is when it's going round and round and round, isn't it? Yeah. Martin. Oh, okay. So that one's going to take me three hours to type into the spreadsheet. <laughs> uh, so it's something like that anyway. Okay, so second driver into group one, please, Sam. Jamie Wilson. Jamie Wilson joins Wobbly Kneecaps in Group 1. Second driver for Group 2, please. Sorry, Jamie. Nothing personal. Stefan. Oh, so Stefan Goebel, um, and we know he has been a race winner. Uh, third driver into group one, please. Jason Haddington. Jason Haddington. Okay, third driver in group two, please. Tyler. Oh, I was so hoping Tyler was going to be in the same group as Wobbly. But never mind. Okay, and the final driver for group one, please, Sam. We got Chris Needham or Marco Lewert. Chris. It's Chris Needham, which means Mr. Marco Lewert will go into group two. 
So let me just type that name in. So just to run down, Group 1 is Wobbly Kneecaps, Jamie Wilson, Jason Haddington and Chris Needham. Group 2 is Martin Versluen, Stefan Goebel, Tyler Newitt and Marco Lewert. So, um, into TCR. Now, we have 21 drivers registered. Um, so, we will... So, uh, group 1 and Group 2 will obviously have uh, an extra driver in. But again, only the top two in each group will go through. So, Sam, first driver for TCR Group 1, please. It's rolling... These groups could get be... very tasty. Martin Brennan. Martin Brennan. Okay, good old romper suit. So, <laughs> uh, first driver for group two, please, Sam. I'm pretty sure there will be a group of death somewhere. Spencer. My God. Yeah. Is Spencer, is Spencer McCarthy. Okay. Uh, first driver for group three, please. People will be sick of seeing Pete's face. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Gray. Oh, Michael Gray. Uh somebody that has raced with us in the past but we haven't seen him for a while um xvr driver uh so first driver for group four please hmm. holy ricks holy ricks uh, another new driver to the series i uh, believe he's driving for one of the result teams so, second driver in Group 1 to join Martin Brennan. Matt Elmore. Matt Elmore. Um, Matt has raced with us before. Um, took a season off last season and got lots of abuse for it. Uh, second driver in Group 2, please, to join Spencer McCarthy. Oh, I was going to say, Spencer's probably a driver that uh, people want to avoid um, in the groups and on the track. Um, second driver for group three, please. Sam Blees. Sam Blees. Another driver that uh, we know is very, very quick. Um, second driver in Group 4, please, to join Ollie Ricks. Arno Chamonier. Good old Arno. Uh, Arno. I always forget how to spell his name, but uh, I don't think he cares anyway. Okay, so we are now into the third drivers in the group. So, group one, please, Sam. Uh, joining Martin Brennan and Matt Elmore will be... Dale Benison. Dale Benison. Uh, another one of the result clothing team. Okay, group two, joining Spencer McCarthy and Duncan Cope. Some big names to come. Andrew Littler. Andrew Littler. Uh, another. <laughs> well, I think they're all result drivers, to be honest. But uh, <laughs> uh, So, Group 3 joining Michael Gray and Sam Blees. Rob Venn. Rob Venn. So he switched to TCR. Interesting. 
Yeah, I just noticed that. Yeah. Not seen him in TCRs, have we? Um, um, third yep. driver in Group 4, joining Ollie Ricks and Arno Chenonier. Charles Kellyman. Charles Kellyman. Guess who he drives for? Uh, I, I would say Rizzo, but I'm not sure. Yeah, nor am I, to be honest. I <laughs> thought I'd see if you remembered. Um, okay, fourth driver in Group 1, please. Join in Martin, Matt and Dale. Ralph Cullinan. Ralph Cullinan, who I don't think is with us tonight. Um, obviously, there are no drop scores in the head-to-head -head challenge so uh, it'll be on the back foot straight away uh group two please sam joining spencer duncan and andrew russell cole russell cole okay uh, on to Group 3, please, Sam. Joining Michael, Sam and Rob. Everybody will be crossing their fingers that they get Pete Grip Bingham in their group. Um, uh, then they Carl. know they've no, got at Carl least Hardy. one place. Oh, Carl, the pie man, Hardy, goes in there. So, Group 4, please, Sam. Joining Ollie, Arno, and Charles. Shane Powell. Shane Powell. Uh, another quick driver. Well, they're pretty uh, much all quick. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, so back to group one again. Joining Martin, Matt, Dale, and Ralph. David Evers. Oh, like. David Evers. <laughs> As he's not David. Uh, do you know what? I actually just typed Evers. <laughs> um, group two joining Spencer, Duncan, Andrew, and Russell. Last season champion Stephen Walker hasn't been drawn out yet. The club himself. Mr. Bingham? Yep. Oh no, so that's a gimme for group two. Okay, on to group three, please, Sam. Joining Michael, Sam, Rob, and Carl. Ooh. Stephen Walker. Stephen Walker, last season's champion. So that's interesting. Uh, Stephen Walker and Sam Blees in the same group. Um, on to group four, please, Sam. Roger Morton. Roger Morton. Right. Now, by my reckoning, we should have two drivers left to go into group one and group two, respectively. Yep, that's right. Okay. And it will be... Is it Gary Craig and... JB? Yep. Yep. So, GB into group one. one is JB Dejou, which puts Gary Craig into group B. Uh, I just really messed that up then. So... Uh, let's go back to that one, JB. So, uh, quick rundown before we jump straight into qualifying. Group one is Martin Brennan, Matt Elmore, Dale Benison, Ralph Cullen, and David Ayres, and JB DeJou. Group two, Spencer McCarthy, Duncan Cope, Andrew Littler, Russell Cowell, Pete Bingham, and Gary Craig. Group three is Michael Gray, Sam Blees, Rob Venn, Carl Hardy, and Stephen Walker. And group four is Ollie Ricks, Arno Chenonier, Charles Kellyman, Shane Powell, and Roger Morton. Um, if you want to keep up with what's going on in the Simability Head-to-Head -head Challenge group stages, 
um, go to our website and uh, you will find um, a link on there that will show you the spreadsheet and everything that is going on. So um, that's the draw for that over. Let's start concentrating on tonight's race. We are currently five minutes into the 15 minute qualifying session. Um, only real changes to note this season from last is um, the TCRs um, have had their fuel reduced to 40% um, just to try and make it uh, a little bit more interesting for the, the TCR drivers um, by, um, you know, making them run less laps. Um, we're hoping that this limit will get them somewhere around... Uh, a decision where you know taking tires is, is maybe a possibility maybe not um and, and just see if it, it works out for them um 50 for the gt4s um which again isn't uh, a fantastic amount for them but uh, usually enough to uh, to get them through on a one stopper uh everything else stays the same so we've still got a one hour race um we've still got an incident limit and then the drivers get a drive through we've still got the team championship going um uh, the, the the big difference, obviously, is the two new TCR cars. So, I'm going to put you two guys on the spot right from race one. Bill, who do you think is going to end up as our Season 7 champion in GT4? Hmm. Let me think about it a minute. Okay. And Sam, for you, who's going to be our Season 7 champion in TCR? Uh, I would say Gary Craig. It's a long time coming, and I cannot connect back to our racing. It crashed, and there's nothing I can do right now. So I don't know if we will be able to see a race today. Okay. Well, uh, for those um, with the broadcast, bear with us. Um, we'll try and keep you updated on what's going on while sam clicks away furiously in the background trying to get things sorted however i did warn everybody that we did have an amateur cameraman tonight um bill any ideas on who you think your champion's going to be yeah i think wobbly kneecaps is going to get it okay that's interesting um i am gonna Oh, oh dear, oh lordy me. I'm not convinced Wobbly will do all the rounds. Um, yeah, you're probably right there. Isla, he's definitely not going to do all the rounds, so he's not going to win it. Um, on past form, I think I would go with Stefan Gobel, although I think Martin Versluen is a, a dark horse. We saw him in our GTCC races and uh, he did some some fantastic things there um but then you know as we keep saying um chris needham jason haddington are getting quicker and quicker we know what jamie wilson can do when he when he puts his mind to it and uh marco i don't drive gt cars anymore um <laughs> who's in a gt4 um you never know with him so i think for me that that, that could be fairly wide open um yeah, what about, that, that, what about tcr not... bill tcr <laughs> um obviously I, I, sam I think, thinks gary craig i think he's a good pick but i let me see um i think stephen walker's gonna get it again well Stephen Walker is the safe bet, isn't he? He's won it, was it two seasons on the trot? He's, he's very good. He's like alien material. Yeah. Um, you, can't, you can't argue with that. He, he is a safe bet. Um, Sam Blees, we know, is a, a cracking well, driver. As is Gary Craig. As is Spencer McCarthy. Yep. And 
Interesting. I know Michael Gray is a fast driver. I've never seen him in a TCR. Um, but at the moment, he sat on provisional pole in the TCR grid. So, uh, do, do you know what? I would really, re I, I think I would go with you, Bill, and, and I would take the safe bet and say Stephen Walker purely because he's won it two seasons on the trot. But I, I don't think he's going to win it. I just, I, I just can't make my mind up on well, uh, who will win it. It's so difficult. You, you brought up a really good point when you started going through the list of drivers. There's, you mentioned a half a dozen really that have a legitimate chance of winning that championship. Yeah, it, it's, it could, you know, it could be down to luck. Um, if it is down to luck, then obviously um, Stephen Walker will win it because lucky is his middle name. Yeah. Um, sure. But I, I mean luck as in avoiding incidents and things like that. Um, we, you know, we do give the drivers a drop round in the overall championship. So you can get away with one bad race, um, but you ain't going to get away with any more than one. Um so yeah it's uh oh it's so difficult to call um i believe we've got pictures back sam looks like he's back yep um so sam um who do you think is going to win gt4 well i, I think if he probably keep uh, doing all the race he could have won it but uh not to exclude martin as well yeah, we saw he's super fast in the GT, the GT Elite. Sure is. Sure so is. yeah, but interestingly, Tyler knew it has just popped himself into second behind Wobbly Kneecaps, and Chris Needham has popped himself up to third, oh, wow. which has uh, re relegated Martin to down to fourth place in GT4. Um, in TCR at the moment, uh, currently Michael Gray still sits in provisional pole. Spencer McCarthy has now got himself into provisional second on the grid, um, which has relegated Stephen Walker down to third. Um, but then we've got, you know, the, the usual suspects there of uh, Sam Belize, Gary Craig. Um, Matt Elmore making his return is up there. What is Bingham doing in eighth place? My, obviously, my scoring is, is playing up <laughs> somewhere. Um, because with... What have we got? 22 TCRs on the track. I would expect Pete to be somewhere around 35th. <laughs> You're horrible. So, uh, yeah, something something weird going on there. Um, right, so let's have a quick look at the chat. So, who have we got? Um, Yaz, the skiving commentator, um, is saying good luck, everybody. Sat there with his feet up having a beer when he should be in here slogging his guts out. Um, Kenny Capes, um, evening, when following a car on the stream... Can it display the car number and name you are following? Am I missing that already? Yes, we can do that. Um, it just, I always forget to press that button, but uh, obviously Sam's doing the cameras. Uh, Sir Alan Toon says, evening everyone, and he's loving Pete's head spinning round. Uh, Yaz again, um, saying it's Martin and Stephen Walker for him. Um, McB952, and I, I know who that is, but I can't remember. It could be, um, oh, Marcus Bletz, maybe, I think it is. Um, yeah, um, obviously that's sorted now. Um, Sam had some technical issues. Um, who else have we got? Yeah, Stephen Walker won't win as many as he did last season, but we'll end up on top uh, and then he said no beers allowed ice cold coke for me he must be on another one of his um, eating frenzy things or whatever he decides to call them um, and Adam Wright says big grid now I thought Adam Wright had signed up or was thinking about signing up but uh, obviously not 
I know he only runs 23 other leagues, so he can fit it in. So why isn't he here? Um, so we are crawling to the end of qualifying. Uh, checkers are out. Those on laps will be able to finish their laps. Everybody else just starts where they are. Well, Wobbly's the only one in the two two fourteens in the GT4 cars. Two fourteen five. What's that say? Seventy four. That's a good time. Yeah, we know Wobbly is a quick driver. It, it's well, I, I, why I never plump for Wobbly as a, a championship winner is because when he, he he has the tendency to rage quit when things don't go right, um, and you you know we've proved it in the past, Bill. We're rubbish, um, but we keep trundling around. We get the car fixed. We trundle around a bit more. And we end up beating all of the people that rage quit. So, you know, Wob you, you've got to get the points that you can. Yeah. The, uh, on screen. He looks depressed. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he always got his, he's got his cap on backwards. That must be, uh, what do they call that? Uh, uh retarded. <laughs> That's not what I was thinking, but okay. <laughs> So, I'm going to start clicking buttons now because that's what I like to do. And nothing ever works. So. Yeah, no idea what's going on now. So, uh, right. So, where are we? Let's have a look. Uh, is there anybody that are going to knock these people off the top spot? Not in GT4 because they've all finished. Gary Craig, we are watching at the moment, currently sitting in fourth place. What his times? Yeah, he's not lighting up the timing screen, is he? No. Although, <laughs> although Moves he's just second. popped up to second. Well done. He wow. must have had an awesome final and sector. He would have. He kind of slowed down that dog up to the to the start finish line. I bet he could have had a better time than that. So Lucky Walker starting from fourth. What's going on? Uh, Adam Wright said he's just got home and can Gary get a penalty for his wheels? Yeah, I totally agree, mate. I did spot that as soon as I logged in and thought, what is he doing? Um, I think we'll give him a team fine for that. Adam, he's, so, got, to take, he's got to take 20 hours of, of interior decorating, so we'll, yeah. we'll straighten him out. Roger Morton in the uh, Honda Council paint. Nice looking. Wow. It took me about seven minutes to do that. A whole seven minutes? Wow. Yeah. I have to tell you, that Honda um, Civic R series is a nice looking vehicle. Out yeah, there. it does look good, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, it does. So we will just wait for the session to click over and then we will bring you your massive grid. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so do you want to do GT4, Bill? And sure. I'll prattle through the TCRs. I'll, I'll go for it. Will you be neat comp? In starting on the poll for BSTV Esports Pink. Second, our own Tyler Newitt, BSTV Esports Orange. In third, we got Chris Needham for RWC Racing Black. In fourth, uh, for Dutchies Esports is Martin Van Schluven. Fifth is Stefan Goebel, BTS Esports. Sixth, Jamie Wilson, Team Chimera or Chimera. Seventh is Jason Haddington, RWC Racing Black. And eighth, Marco Lewert, BTS Esports. Over to you, Paul. Okay, so your TCR grid is on pole position, Michael Gray for XVR Sim Racing. Second, Gary Craig, BSTV Esports Green. Third, Spencer McCarthy, Alpine Stars Geodesic Racing. Fourth is Stephen Walker, Spectre 6 Purple. Fifth, 
is Sam Blees for Alpine Stars Geodesic Racing. Sixth, Matt Elmore, Spectre 6. Seventh, Shane Powell, Spectre 6 Purple. Eighth, Pete Bingham, BSTV Esports Green. Ninth is Arno Shannonier for RWC Racing White. Tenth, Russell Cowell, Spectre 6. Eleventh, David Ayres, Result Clothing iRacing Team. In 12th, Rob Venn, BSTV Esports Pink. In 13th, Safeguard by Result, Team Carl Hardy. Uh, in 14th is Charles Kellyman for Optical. In Sorry, I do... Bleh, let's start that again. In in 14th is JB DeJou for LMT Racing. In 15th is Martin Brennan for Safeguard by Result. In 16th is Charles Kellyman for Optical. 17th, Roger Morton, WorkGuard by Result. 18th is Privateer, Duncan Cope. 19th is Ollie Ricks, Spyro by results. 20th, Dale Benison, Spyro by results. 21st, Ralph Cullinan, Result Clothing iRacing Team. And rounding out your TCR grid is Andy Littler for Work Guard by results. Well, that's the biggest grid we've had to announce for a long time. Sure is. So, again, for the people at home, 60 minutes of racing coming up. You will see the TCRs give a healthy gap to the GT4 field, just in case they come together. They don't want to get involved in that. And also, to mention, uh, Clyde had mentioned it earlier before, but it's fuel limited, so you will see a pit stop during this race as well. I am desperately trying to get my track map to work and it's not playing again. It's, it's on it's it's on the screen now. Well, anyway. Sam put that on there to show us that it does work. Yeah, I know. It's <laughs> I'm not I'm not even gonna swear about it anymore. I'm fed up with swearing about it. It's just poo. One thing we pride ourselves in the United States, we have uh, not corner names, but section names, and we, we number our corners. We don't call them like uh, AJ Foyt, Turn, and all that kind of stuff. Like, no, but you always have a carousel. We always have a carousel, yep. S's, bus stop. Not always a bus stop, but yeah, we do. <laughs> right, I'm going to shut that down and start it again because I'm an IT expert and then it will start working. Or it won't load at all. Right. Oh, no, it was working then and I stopped it. There oh. it is. Road America is a four mile long track. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, to be honest, I like the, the, the long um, parade lap as we call them over yep. here um, because it gives the drivers a, a little bit of chance to abuse each other um, do, do you know what I mean up, yeah. yeah yeah you know uh, I, I'm usually you know yeah you know make sure you don't spin your wheels when you when you go off or you know um, don't, don't be turn careful on turn on one's lap. really slippery and you know don't yeah just get in the heads yeah oh yeah there's an on board for Jamie Wilson in the Chimera. Uh, what's he driving? I'm not even sure. Is that a BMW? Uh, Jamie is in the BMW, BMW, yes. The only BMW in GT4. Even Wobbly's BMW. dumped it. He what? He dumped it? That, no, as in he's dumped his beloved BMW. Oh, yeah. It looks like he's in a Mecca. Yeah. Uh, smart money on GT4. They're still saying Porsche will probably be the car of choice over the whole season. Um, but as we saw last season, um, it can change track to track. So, round the final turn. And I believe Wobbly's gone straight away. Yeah, he's gone. Hard to bet against Porsche. They've been in so many series over the years and they're good at what they do. Okay, TCR's coming round the last corner. 
let's see what happens into turn one first with the GT4s. Everybody round safely. Right, TCRs, here we go. The angry wasps have gone. Is turn one going to be clean for them? It looks like a cattle drive, doesn't it? Holy cow, a bunch of them. Uh, to be Look honest, it wow. must be a fantastic grid to be in. Oh. And yes, everybody safe at the moment. We are still waiting for a number of paints to come in, um, especially from the result team. So you will see a lot of council paints out there tonight. But uh, hey ho! Um, Adam Wright is asking: Has anyone ever raced the alternate layout? Why is why is Versluen in sixth? No idea. They dropped to seventh. Oh, but he's crashed. Oh. Hell. What has happened? I can't. I bet he's had help because he's a good driver. Okay, here's a replace. Martin Versluen. There he is in was a third or fourth. Huh. The that looked more like that looked more like a disconnect or such. Something weird happened, didn't know. it? No, he's just gone out wide, doesn't he? Three. And I think the momentum of the other cars have just taken Whoa, him. Oh, there's Jason Hansen going backwards. He's gotten into the guardrail. I'm not sure where he is. Is that Canada Corner? Mm, I think. I think Martin has obviously got away with that, but uh, he's going to have oh, to there fight he goes his again. way. Martin's around. Ah, oh. that's where it was then. That's where it was. So he's got some work to do now. Meanwhile, back to the wasps. No, I could be totally wrong with these TCRs. I'm just going on what I've been told. But uh, I, I'm, I think, reliably informed that uh, now we've got the three different cars in this class. Um, they are all slightly different. Yes, they look slightly different. Um, but I'm told speed-wise, you go for the Audi. Um turn in and cornering you go for the Hyundai and braking you go for the Honda so if you could have a bit of all of those cars stuck together you'd probably win every race it's interesting the four Hyundais they're together kind of right, right at the moment Yeah, and I see on my timing screen anyway, um, doesn't look like SDK have put the car badges in. So, I don't actually know who's in a Hyundai and who's in a Honda until I see them on the screen. I know Gary Craig is in a Honda, and he's in second place behind Michael Gray. One, two, three, four, five cars. Yep. Behind pulled him, away, haven't they, slightly? Behind him is Spencer McCarthy. I noticed he had a little uh, blip there for a minute. Lost, left the screen, came back quickly. He's not having a problem. Yeah, I think David Ayres had a, a, an issue at the start. Um, he had a server disconnect and then reconnected. I, uh, I am going to go round to David because he doesn't live that far away from me. Um, and just he's, he's having a few issues, so let's see if I can sort it out for him. Nice curl cam coming out of kind of up the Canada corner. I do like this track. Ah, oh, it's a wonderful track. 
Oh, so uh, my old mucker, Mr. Uh oh, Aaron. little little Ooh. little tank slapper right there. Yeah, that's, uh, you know who that is, don't you? <laughs> hey, it's the bumpster. <laughs> he was bumping, all right. Wow. Oh, who's that off there? That's Charles, yeah. That's Pete right there. He gets hit side slap by, uh, I don't know who that is. Yeah, what, what's the back end? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Slow motion, too. Whoa. That's nearly Bumpy. as good as Pete's head spinning round, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so uh, evening to uh, my old mucker, um, Aaron Gearing. On, uh, he's on the Facebook chat, I believe, Sam. Wow. Don't know why the old git's not racing. Um, nice battle there. Unless he's still working nights. <clears throat> yeah, so we'll see um, what this 40% fuel limit does to the racing in these cars. I'm hoping it, it gives them enough options to uh, have different strategies. See the geodesic racing guys have gone for the Hyundai. Going through the Aristel and in together. Stephen Walker and uh, Gary Craig. Get up a little. Actually, still not that far ahead of these guys. Yeah, you know, if you look at the track map. Um, first to twelfth, there's there's not a great deal of distance between them. No, there isn't. Um, and, and oh, 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 Gary was wide there, I believe. Yeah, that'll be them wheels. So Lucky Walker gets up into second. Spencer McCarthy now trying to put a move on Gary Craig. Do Sam, please. Yeah, Sam Blees is going to try and push him past and follow him through. Yeah. Get up a little more if you can, Gary. Just a little bit more. Yeah, yeah they look like they are a bit slower, doesn't it, to be honest? They're getting by him now. Gary's done well there to, to tuck yes, in between has. the two and stop them both freight training him. Uh, no, we don't. I thought we was going to switch to curb cam there. It's coming out of the carousel. Going to the king. Where I got my famous nickname from here. <laughs> yep. Down to Canada Corner. Yeah, Sam Blees. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is turn five. Oh, Gary was very, very brave on the brakes Whoa. there. Yeah. The Honda's supposed to be good on brakes, well, maybe. Side by each coming in the turn uh, five. Ralph Cullinan and is that Duncan Cope? It is. Oh, Martin Vesluan's night goes from bad to worse. He's had a server disconnect. I got him listed as out. That's a shame. Yeah. No, well, you know, I think Sam tipped him, didn't he? So that was his season over straight away. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. We put the brand up next to the what the guys are driving. That makes it a little bit easier. Gary, you got to get rid of those John Deere wheels. Come on. <laughs> Shit. That is actually what they look like, yeah. Yeah. You've, you've hit the nail on the head there, I think. So these cars this season um, are going to some, some big tracks. That's some very small tracks, so... Uh, Tracks like Daytona Road Course, Silverstone GP um, are going to be long old tracks. But then 
we've got the brand new track on iRacing, Knock Hill. That's going to be fantastic racing. Um, that's a bike track. Don't let anybody ever tell you any different. Um, which makes it even more fun for cars to go round. A um, bit like Cadwell Park in the UK. Um, and then we've got a weird one for round 11. Charlotte's, Charlotte Legends RC Long. Um, no idea what that is, um, but thoroughly looking forward to it because it's something I've not seen before. That makes, that makes more than one of just you. I haven't either. <laughs> So Sam Blee's finally puts that move on Gary Craig, dropping him down to fifth place. Sam up to fourth. Um, Michael Gray has got the biggest gap we've seen so far in the lead of TCR. Uh, what is he? 1.3 seconds ahead of Lucky Walker. Uh, is that Bingham fighting his way back through. Not that way. Ralph Cullinan and Duncan Cope's ahead of him. I think that may have just been him going past Ralph Cullinan. Yeah, yeah or, exactly. Or at least defending against Ralph. Heading for the carousel now. Such an easy corner to overdrive because it's totally flat. And if you push too hard, the car understeers and pushes like the radio. You know, another feature of Road America Applied is it's a very fast track, too. You've got a lot of high speed areas. Yeah, it certainly is. There's, there's no like 180 degree hairpins or things like that, no, is there? True. So, yeah. Which, to be honest, I like. It, 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 I agree. Uh, again, you know, again, I'm, I'm rubbish at every track, but it, this is a track that I really, you know, even toddling around in last place, five yep. seconds a lap slower than everybody else, I enjoy the the rhythm of this track. Well, as you, as you know, I've covered all areas of it. Uh, had the burner going, cooking ribs, remember? Back in the old you, days. You've man. covered areas of this track, Bill, that nobody even knew existed. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to chastise any tracks in this country, but I've got to tell you, this, this is hands down better than Coda. I don't understand why. <laughs> you know, that, really. What's that roundabout one? Round Oxford Plains, that's better. Oh my than god, it's like running in it's like running in a circle. Though Spence in Maine. <laughs> Spencer McCarthy put Stephen Walker under pressure. Um, that's allowing Sam Blees to get on the back of this battle and then probably Gary Craig as well. Um, Shane Powell up there doing nicely as is Matt Elmore Russell Cowell. Um, as we go back through the pack, then uh, Arno Shenonier and then Rob Venn rounding out your top 10 in TCR. Uh, Charles Kellyman and Dale. Is it Dale? Was that 37? That was Ralph, actually. It's, yeah, it's because Ralph, I've got, to, I've got to call Ralph a knob um, because he didn't managed to accept his league request before the session <laughs> launched and therefore is running around with the wrong number. Ah. And uh, Carl Hardy did try and tell him, did try and ring him, text him um, and got no answer so I I promised Carl I would call Ralph a knob live on air. <laughs> Michael Gray's out in front of the TC feel almost by a second ahead of Stephen Walker Spencer McCarthy and yeah so ooh, wobblers um, wobbly has got a near on two second lead over Tyler Newitt uh, Chris didn't I see Chris Needham up there in third he's Boy, doing you, well uh, Stefan Goble in fourth well done Jamie Wilson in fifth and uh, Marco, I don't drive GT cars, Lewert, 
in sixth. Uh, Jason Haddington, I believe, is still running. Um, yeah, Who's there that? he is. But uh, unfortunately, yeah, on the chat, Martin Versluen has um, confirmed his internet connection uh, just went, uh, no thank you. That's just not right, Martin. But, uh, we, I knew you were a better driver than that, let me tell you. So, Aaron gearing on the Facebook chat has said this is punishing for a front wheel drive car um, very hard on the front left. Um, so, uh, that may be something to look out for when we hit the pit stops. Um, we'll, I don't really know how these cars take tyres, if I'm honest, but I believe they can do fronts or rears, lefts or rights. Or just all four if they want. Uh, so Andrew McKinley says, "Would it, would it make more? Would it? I can't read to me. What would make it more interesting is to have the MX-5 replace the GT4." Um, so, uh, just to answer that, Andrew, we are actually looking into that for Season 8. Um, hopefully not replacing the GT4, but uh, turning this into a three-class championship. Um, so, uh, all you MX-5 drivers out there, be prepared. Um, uh, myself and Sam are currently doing, um, well, not currently, but we we have a, a brief chat about doing the work um, to get that up and running for season eight. Uh, Adam Wright is saying that's an interesting idea, but Adam's like 28 years behind the times. Um, and Martin saying his first, was his first ever race in GT4 and it's more difficult than it looks. Isn't it always? Okay, so this is a battle royale. Now, because I've been rambling away about uh, just all sorts of shite, um, I have no idea how Stephen Lucky Walker got past Michael Gray and then Spencer McCarthy as well. Oh, I'm sure Sam will be able to show it to me. Uh, he's kind of staying with him. I wonder if he had a little mishap or something. But the lead change in TCR, please, Sam. Okay, well, uh, we'll wait for Sam to find that. He will do eventually. Yeah, it is, it's unusual. He was out like on a one-second lead, and all of a sudden he's in third place here. That's interesting. Walker, Texas Ranger. Don't know if your event viewer is the same as mine. Um, but I've got it at 23, 23.75. Yeah, he just said 4P7, not 4P1. That's why I got caught. Uh, I was ah. looking at past 4P1 and I couldn't find it, but it's okay, past 4P7 is. because... Let me tell you something, SDK is bullshit. Coming down the marine. <laughs> yeah, the so... Five. Down the inside and then Spencer McCarthy is going to follow him through on the next left by the looks of it. Yep, yeah, um, so that's how it happened. Well done, uh, Sam. Michael just so slightly got shuffled out of place. Anyway. Still keeping good pace with him, though, I'll tell you. And Sam, please, Sam, please, Sam, wait for me, wait for me. 
And he's taking a dive into turn five. Looks like he's going after it too. And uh, yeah, he's not going to be able to defend this, I don't think. That should be Michael's. Although he held on well, didn't he? He's got him now. Yeah. Certainly did. Right. Michael. Now I should know this. Who is Kenny Capes? Why do I know that name? Did he run the eight supercars? Mm, don't know. I don't know. Could be. But either way, Kenny Kenny Capes is saying love the MX5. Three class series would be great. There's always a fear that it'll water it down, but I'm not I'm not so sure. I, I think I, I've done a, a little bit I'm going to say racing but it's not racing it's more driving round um, in the new version of, or the latest version of the MX-5 and it is a fantastic little car to drive uh, very very popular as well <laughs> it's a forgiving little sucker I'll tell you that I've tried it yeah. I can get around a track without a mishap that tells you it's a pretty decent car So, this battle up the front, there's a, oh no it's not, it's my uh, timing screen going a bit loopy-loo. I was going to say there's a battle up the front in GT4, but there's not. Ignore that. Um, so yeah, great battle this. So at the moment, uh, Lucky Walker is leading with Spencer McCarthy second, Sam Blee's third, Michael Gray in fourth, um, and then Gary Craig in fifth. That's the little group up the top. This group is uh, JB DeJou in the uh, bright yellow Audi. Uh, Martin Brennan putting pressure on him and going past him in the Hyundai. And then Roger wow, well Morton done. is the third of these cars. Nice to see Martin back. Um, oh, yeah. All we need now is Stacy back in the booth. Look at this, good battle here, wow. Whoa. And again, for, you know, for the folks watching at home, um, and again, yes, I'm biased. Yes, it's our league. Yes, we do the broadcasts. But this is what you get in this league. You get, it doesn't matter how slow you are, there is always somebody to help you. There is always somebody that will even do one-on-ones with you. There's lots of practice sessions that Carl Hardy and the Result Boys put on. And there's always somebody to race. Because there will always be somebody at your standard. With minimal whining. Yes. Because anybody that comes into the league and whines a lot... We just abuse them constantly, eventually and then they go they, away. Eventually they leave, yeah. Which, you know, no hard feelings, they just don't belong, no. and we, we understand that. It yeah, happens. you know, some call it bullying, we call it weeding out the rubbish. <laughs> Why is it there? Because everybody bullies me. And I'm old and blind and deaf and don't care. Ah, that's why. Okay. And eats cake. And eats cake. I've got no cake tonight. So that's uh -oh. going on. I have got some so chocolate. That's why you can't read well. So Russell Cowell, that must be Arno Shenonier. I recognise that paint. He's trying to fight back on the inside there, coming into turn three. I. Wow, well, look at that. Yeah. I think Arno is the one doing the press in here. Rob Band in 10th place is a new venture in TCR for him, I think. Yeah, uh, and I'll tell you something else that I think is going on, unless my eyes deceive me. I think Chris Needham is 
pulling in Tyler Newitt. So whether whether Tyler is running one of his, um, I'll, I'll tell you what. Let me save some fuel and whoa. whoa. That'll be Russell Cowell just checking that that piece of grass is freshly mown. <laughs> Did a little edging there, yeah. And I'm wondering about Gary Craig too. He had a Jesse on his first stint to just kind of stay in touch, but. Not abuse the car, not, you know, try to get the most mileage you can. It's a possibility. He's good at that. And uh, Yaz on the chat is saying uh, Pete Bingham hasn't left yet, despite all the abuse. And Adam Wright has just signed up. My watch has just told me it's time to get ready for bed, so good night, everybody. <laughs> tell you, Adam, you'd be good in this. You're a good driver. You can, you really adapt quickly. You do well here. I'm sure he tried it a couple of seasons ago, you know, in yeah, GT4, and yeah. he was absolute rubbish. Well, I don't know. Oh, look got... at this. Look at this. Somebody get a blanket. That is amazing. Oh, David Ayres is at another disconnect. Oh. He's not going to be very happy. That means he'll be beating Carl Hardy with a stick at work tomorrow. <laughs> And to be fair, they've got plenty of time to beat each other in beat each other up with sticks. Because I've been to their place of work twice now, and I've not seen either of them do anything. <laughs> and, and Carl's name we need to change as well. Um, there wasn't wasn't a pie in sight. However. There was a full desk drawer of chocolate. Oh my goodness. You don't think He's... that's for tempt the girls, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think he would have to have a face implant to uh, entice now, the now, girls. Now, 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 come on, be nice. A face <laughs> Honestly, Bill, I thought you was ugly, but you got nothing on. on on Mr. Mr. Pie Man. Oh, I, I you're, you're like a model compared with him. Whoa, Sam, please <laughs> wagging the tail. That's a quick corner right there. It's easy to crash there, too. I'll tell you about that. I'm sure I just see the Hyundai there cocking a rear wheel in the air. You're taking a squirt against the tree. Just, like, just no, yeah, just, you know, like real touring cars, because they have them set up yep. so stiff. Um, you know, yeah. they go around most corners on three wheels. So this is Russell Cowell with Arno Shenonier and Rob Venn. Uh, cracking little battle that these guys are having. Is that close racing or what? Uh, yeah, so Arno, so this is over 9th, 10th, 11th. to see that again I, think, I don't know, Not sure I don't know if that was a little nudge okay so Wobbly's in in the Macca so is Chris Needham so is Stefan Gobel all bang on halfway Martin Brennan and Roger Morton also in the pits Jamie in the Wilson. TCR. Jamie so, Tyler stays out. Tyler the saver. Okay, 
Okay, here's the replay of uh, the little coming together at the end of the front straight here. Yeah, so it wasn't what I thought it was. Originally, I thought, yeah, no. To me, there's nothing in that. that no, of that's course not. Two cars going for the same corner, and one of them has to lose out. Um, I, initially, I thought it was a bump from behind, but no. Yep. For me, racing incident all the way. So Aaron Gearing is saying, yeah, he's hard at work too. Don't believe that for a minute. <laughs> he's a lorry driver. They do naff all. Saying stopping every five minutes for a coffee or a tea. Is yeah. yeah. Cry ups. Donuts, pies, you name it. <laughs> So, the interesting thing at the moment, ooh, there's lots of TCRs coming in all of a sudden. Yeah, good. Mm, Gary Craig, wow. Mmm. Try to undercut the other guys? I wonder. I can't see from this distance whether they're going up in the air. The ones behind definitely did. Oh, yeah, that one's about five feet off the ground. It is, isn't it? Yeah, that looks like they're underneath that, changing the under tray. Okay, Michael Gray and uh, Gary Craig have pulled it out together. Back All right, Tyler, Tyler knew it is in, in GT4. So we will need to see what order they come out. In Gutsy move by Mr. Charnow, the Shinoya there. Shinoya, as you said. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know um, Adam Wright was a lorry driver. That explains a lot. <laughs> well, Tyler... Uh... Woo -hoo. That was a hell of a closing rate there. So, uh, he's come out, he's getting on Chris Needham. seconds behind Wobbly, but straight back into the Chris Needham battle. Well, here comes the leaders now. That's, here they uh, come. Walker McCarthy and Blaze into the pit yeah. at the same time. But it's the uh, Michael Gray and Gary Craig part of this race that yeah, I'm now interested that, yeah. in. And they're on, uh, they're in hurry, not hurry down, what do they call that? Oh, they're coming in Canada corner right now. Up to the curb camp. Yeah. <laughs> And onto the how appropriate the road the road America's well, that, great. Wheels are spinning, look. That's gotta be a penalty. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be close. Yeah, they're gonna do it, isn't they? Look at this. Look at look these at three wow. coming in the pits three wide. They got by him, wow, look at that. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Although there's not well, a lot in it, is there? Well. <laughs> so, Arno now having a go. Is he? He is. It is having a go at Matt Elmore now. He's, um, I think this is the the raciest I've seen, I know, to be honest. 
Boy, those brake rotors are glowing in the back of those Hyundais. Whew. He's looking alongside of uh, Rob Van. That's Russell Cowell, I believe, going trying to go by him. Yep, it is. Rob Van says, I'm going to take you all the way to the corner. Watch this. Hung in there pretty good. Wow. Rob, well done. God, that was really good. Yeah, it's good to see people still using the Audi, isn't it? Because uh, a lot of the times you get a couple of new cars in a class and, and everybody jumps ship and... Yep. Yeah. I think he's got it done this time. Though. Oh, I don't know. Rob's still fighting it. Well done, outside, Rob. Yeah. Outside on the carousel's tough, but he's hanging in there good, boy. There That's is the grip out there. Whoa. Whoa. That was just a, a, a love tap. Yeah, and he got out of it too. Could have been, could have been a lot of Rob washed out a little bit there. Yeah, now Matt Elmore wants a piece of wow. Rob Venn. Arno Shinonier is in there as well. And Gary, Gary Craig, Craig is gone by. He's gone by Michael Gray. Wow. He has. Did Michael Gray have a bad exit on the last turn? Because Spencer yeah, McCarthy is right the up there as the well. Away. Let's see. Yes, yeah, he yeah. did. He's a little, he's yes, wide, he did. Yep. Yeah. So if anybody wants to know this week's lottery numbers, please give me a shout. Obviously, I am all seeing. And Spencer McCarthy's trying to get it by uh, Michael Gray. So, unbelievably, we are 37 minutes into this race. And I should have known better because we've just watched everybody in the pits, but I expected it to say about 20 minutes. Yeah, I know it, huh? Yeah, he's he's going to have to show some patience, isn't he? And and try and get these done one at a time. Maybe hope Matt Elmore makes a little bit of a mistake trying to get past Rob Venn and, and fill the gap that, that Matt leaves behind. And that's off Rob Venn. I mean, he's hanging in there pretty darn well. Oh yeah, but you can see how much he's defending by how much Russell Cowell has pulled away from him. Yep, for sure. Okay, so the five angry wasps up front are all back together again. And at the moment, Gary Craig's leading. Followed by Spencer McCarthy, Michael Gray, Stephen Walker, and Sam Please. You know, when TCR first happened, I wasn't a real big fan, but I have to tell you, after a couple of years and a few more cars now, it's really puts on one heck of a show, I gotta say. Yeah, the re re I, th I think the, the real TCR series is, you know, I, uh, you and me both, Bill, are, are massive fans of the, the BTCC. Exactly. Um, but I can see TCR being a lot bigger because oh, yeah. the, 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 they just seem to be running it correctly. Um, uh, and, yeah, it, it, it's fantastic. I've been to a couple of TCR races, um, uh, and, yeah, I, I love it. But I love all touring car racing, to be honest. Yeah, I, I like I like the diversity, you know, the different brands. Uh, I don't know, it just makes it more interesting. Yeah. I, I think the only touring cars I've never really enjoyed is DTM. 
Oh no. Uh, That's a they went a bit stupid with aero, and they had all bits dangling off of them and stuff like that. They they may have changed it again, but I, I'd already lost interest by then. Um, I'm sure some of our German viewers or drivers will be able to correct me on on whether it's worth watching again. But uh, yeah, it's yeah. Like a, they're, they're like Formula One cars with a body on them. Yeah, honest. they they sort of went down the same route as world touring cars yeah. and yeah uh, that's when i lose interest well i'll tell you the early earlier uh dtms were very similar to btcc they were you know like the mercedes i don't know yeah, what class yeah. it is and the Most bmw definitely. 3 series and stuff that was a really good okay so we i think we're just gonna watch this lead change hands for the next 20 minutes Gary Craig there from first to third. That's how quickly yeah, it can of, happen. He kind of got shuffled out of there by Stephen Walker just then. Uh, and these guys are all racing each other in the official races as well. Are, yep. um, although, uh, again, I'm going to say it, I'm biased, but uh, I think they enjoy racing in this league because the respect is there. You don't get the wild cards that you get in official racing. And I, I tell you, I gotta believe. You know, you race against the same guys all the time. You know what to expect. You know how they usually it, race. And exactly. You 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 know who you can take liberties against, who you can't, who you've got to be wary of. Um, yeah, it, it it turns it into a probably as close as you can get to a a real racing series where you know for a whole season you are racing the same drivers right, exactly you you know the loose cannons you know the ones that you can run within an inch of um yeah yep, it's, exactly. it's the way to do it um obviously we just watched uh gary craig there dropped down to fourth um, Aaron is telling me on the chat that DTM is GT3 only now, so yeah, that certainly doesn't interest me then. But he also said TCR is boring. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Yeah, he's had an off track, but doesn't say that he crashed unless he's just keeping out of the way, letting these GT4s through, which is always a good idea. So this is Duncan Cope and Charles Kellyman. Twin cars, look at that. That's who I thought Kenny Capes was, if I'm honest. Okay. I thought it was Duncan Cope, but how is he sending messages and driving at the same time hmm, well hmm although adam uh, no who is it that does it oh ben isn't it <laughs> who seems to have died as well yeah, he's kind of disappeared isn't he Maybe in service to you never know. it could be it could be I am busily looking through my chats now to see if I've got a Kenny Capes that's ever spoken to me. And I haven't. And at the moment, uh, in GT4, we've got Wobbly Kneecap. This is ahead of uh, Tyler Newen in second place. About three, a little less than three and a half seconds. Wiley Chris Needham is in third, about a second and a half behind Tyler. And then we've got Stephen Goble, Jamie Wilson, and Mark LeWert. And Jason Hanning is working really hard trying to get through the uh, TCR field. And we got Wobbly on the screen. I think he's a big deal because he's 19 seconds ahead of everybody. So, uh... It's like he's really concentrating, right? Yeah. He probably needs a poo. <laughs> actually, right, I actually, I do there think... There we go, little, little beer. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That is his poo face. There, got fuel. Okay, he's all set. Yeah, quick swig of the baby sham. <laughs> um, so our old friend Romain Ratu 
um, says, hi guys, hope you are well. Um, now there is a nasty rumour going round that the Mika boys might be back for round two. Um, Adam Wright is asking where has Ben gone? Um, latest rumour I has is he's uh, gone to Gretna Green to marry his boyfriend. So uh, <laughs> congratulations to Ben um, and Roger. Gonna have a husband, huh? Oh, mm. I am impressed with Chris Needham's performance. He's doing a wonderful job, it really is. Which means at some point we're gonna have to change him from Ben Cullen to Ben Dover. <laughs> so Ben went to Dover, huh? Right, what is going to go on in this TCR battle, guys? Are we seeing the finishing order? I don't think so. Me either. And we're under 15 minutes to go. Boy, where'd that time go? Wow. Where is... Why is Gary Craig and Michael Gray so far behind these guys? They haven't changed tires when the other three have. Um, is that a definite or a, a guess? Uh, it is a definite. Right, okay. So we may I, I be sure seeing... did not so Gary on the jacks. I'm not one of the represent sure about Michael Gray, but I don't think they are. Mm, so we might be seeing a new tactic in this championship this season, if that is the case. JD, Jamie and Deju and Martin Brennan still having their little battle going. What, what's happened to who else is with them? Oh, oh, that's Dale Benison. Wow, there's pieces laying on the side of the road there. <laughs> what happened ah, to Dale? He's on the grass. Kink, the famous kink. Yep, oh, no, we got away with that. Yeah. And then. And into yeah, the other side. Too much speed oh, in the kink. Oh, baby. Front bumper gone, wheel hanging off. Wow, that was a hard hit. Applied seven minute paint ruined. <laughs> he tried to get it moving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got Jamie Wilson in the background closing in on this happy duo here. I don't know why, but JB's paint. What was that? What series was it, Sam? Where was it the Funky Chickens or something? What was that team? I think it may have been or chicken, nuts or chicken, chicken nuggets or something. Uh, yeah. Didn't they have a paint like that? No, they were white. And white, a bit yeah, of it was white red. with a roost, or like a chicken on the side of it or something. I forget, but they weren't they weren't yellow. Oh, Martin Brennan. Stacy swear box is going to be filling. Yeah, Pete Bingham just got by you, Martin. You better get going. Yeah, I must have. That, that's embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> wow, these guys are far ahead of Gary and uh, Mark. Wow. Stephen Walker is a geodesic sandwich, right? Maybe not for long. Now, Adam Wright said Massey would have thrown a safety car then. And then obviously sorted out the order of the cars into who he wanted to win. Oh, controversy. front of that high end eye. Yeah. <laughs> Up toward curb 
warp cam. And on to Road America Street. Another tricky corner, if I may add. Yeah, for me, that's always one of them that you think you can carry a lot more speed it's into a lot of, it. It's and a then lot all of a sudden, looks, you're yeah. like, oh, no, there's grass there. That's right. It's a, it's a lot harder than it looks, that's for sure. Okay, so we are inside the last 10 minutes. Oh, These Stephen guys Walker's, still going at it. Stephen Walker trying to get the second spot back. Not quite this time. Don't forget, Stephen Lucky Walker last season, 11 wins out of 12 races. Double TCR champion, two seasons on the trot. Not related to the great late Murray Walker either, by the way. Yeah, or even the not so Rob late Walker. and not so great Ryan Walker. <laughs> Where is he? Not going to be in this, huh? Well. No, Ryan is concentrating on V8s. Oh, okay. So he is putting all of his effort into the upcoming V8 season, which is only about three weeks away now. Okay. Yeah, the Simability V8 ESC. Yeah, it seemed, January seemed like a long ways away, but it's not very far away now. No, that is obviously our longest running league. I have a feeling that's been going for about five years now. I'll have to check when we started that I managed to handle you that long <laughs> no to be fair you joined in season 2 didn't you well I joined the league in season 2 and actually managed to get in the organization part in 4 maybe yeah yeah. yeah we, we managed to keep you out of things for a while yeah, but you needed someone professional at some point, so, you know, had to be done. Well, we, to be honest, we just needed somebody to blame. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> to blame when the website is not working, right? I'm Shane Paul, Jason Hannington. Jason's trying to work his way back up, I'm afraid, Jason. Uh, that ship yeah. has sailed, but uh, see if... Oh, a flashy light guy. Uh -oh. Who's that? Who's that? Please tell me it's Bigham. No, it wasn't. Craig. It was Gary. Tell by the gaff wheels. Gary, John Deere, and Craig. Tyler is less than a second behind the useless kneecap. Yeah... But that could be Wobbly playing games. We know what he's like. We'll see at the end. <laughs> we certainly will. And Chris Needham is not that far behind him either. that second place back doesn't he oh boy so whilst I've got the schedule up where uh, ooh, Watkins Glen boot next week interesting that track can uh, cause controversy sometimes Obviously, iRacing have uh, re-scanned, re-released Watkins Glen, and they've obviously ruined it because I was slow as hell in the trucks on Sunday, and I should have won. Well, I noticed that they uh, they changed turn once. Uh, what did I say? What would you say? 
the, the point of no return or something. You go over that per curve now, and I guess you get a 1X or something, huh? Yeah. To me, they've ruined it with the, the, the NASCAR line. Totally on, agree. On that other, on that corner where you literally leave the, the, yeah. yeah. Well, you leave the track. You leave the postcode or the zip code as it is over yeah. there. Yeah. Well, they apparently they whined about all the problems they had, you know, coming off the carrot. Here we go, the carousel. And, uh, you know, going off track there and crashing. Well, hey, drive the car better. You know, exactly. What can I say? Yeah. Keep within the track limits. So, what they do, they make it another four lanes wide so that these stupid idiots can stay on track. So, wobbly with some GT4 traffic in front of him uh, sorry some TCR traffic in front of him they hit him at a good time too Tyler yeah made. Tyler was just no he's not uh -oh, no. He's gonna catch a little that's going to slow him down a little bit so this is the lead battle of GT4 in with the lead battle of TCR so this with less than 4 minutes to run could shake things up Tyler Stroh, whoa! Yeah, that uh, that <laughs> ruined Sam Blees' exit, and uh, Stephen Walker told him, "I'm yeah, here." Yeah, Stephen Walker touched him inappropriately. <laughs> uh, Adam Wright says NASCAR drivers struggling with a right turn. Go figure. I'd just like to point out that I did beat Adam on Sunday. Much to the disappointment of the commentary team. I have watched it. All abuse sent my way has been noted. Well, at least the cameras were good. Not that you can say the same for the 992 on the weekend. <laughs> SDK, mate, it's not my fault. Well, not for the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. For the overlay, it might be, but for the camera, no, it's just down to the user between the keyboard and the chair. I thought the 992 broadcast was probably the best broadcast we'd ever done last time out. Okay, we're two minutes remaining. Two minutes to go. Gary Craig and uh, Michael Gray look like they're going to be fighting for fourth position here. Yeah, um, so if Sam was correct and neither of these took tyres, they are going to be regretting it. And Michael's got a look inside, coming into yeah, turn five. Yeah, he's got that done. Oop. He's, he's protecting. Yeah, yeah, I thought he, he'd got a bit loose, but no, you're right, he was stopping Gary, wasn't he, getting yep. up the left-hand yep. side there. <laughs> Down through Dingle Dong, or whatever the name of that area is. But, yeah. All right, we're coming into the famous old carousel, and Gary is very close, right inside his trunk, actually. Okay, so I'm watching the clock and watching where Wobbly is on the track and I think the GT4s will get one more lap. Oh! Jeez. They did everything but crash on that one. And just looking back there, I thought Stefan Goebel, is that Stefan or is that... Yeah, I, I believe is, I don't know. Is it Stefan or Marco? I don't know, I can't see the numbers. The yellow wheels, I think that's Stefan. Yeah, I actually thought he was going to go through the middle. <laughs> yeah, I thought they'd just get another one in. Gary Craig wants that position back. Oh yeah, big time. 
these GT4s, what a whiz pass before they get to the border. There's one through. Gary's going to try and use the slipstream. <laughs> Very crafty. Uh, but uh, Stefan uh, hung him out to dry there. Hit the, hit the proverbial but wall right there. He still might get this to war. Oh. Michael Gray was so late on the brakes. Uh, yeah, that uh, that really unsettled the car going in, didn't it? it allowed Gary sure Craig did. to get past. This is a great battle. Whoa, and there's a oh, three wide, oh. baby. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Jason Haddington made the correct decision there. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, who's off there? Ooh, who's who's that? that? Oh, it's a back marker, isn't it? Yeah, it's Ollie. Yeah. Nicely, good job. Gary's trying to pull out a little space between himself and uh, Michael Gray. Well, as we concentrate on this battle, Wobbly Kneecaps has got a one second lead over Tyler Newitt. Lovely up into uh, yeah, that is the final corner, isn't it? Yes, it is. Providing there's no uh, spluttering going up the hill in the Macca. Looks like a wobbly kneecaps is going to take a race one in GT4. Tyler New at second, Chris Needham third, and into TCR. I honestly thought Spencer McCarthy was going in the pit. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Spencer McCarthy is going to take a well-earned well win. Well done, wow. Uh, teammate Sam Blees in second and Stephen Walker in third. And it looks like Gary Cray is going to pull down to fourth place. With, uh, Mark. Sorry, Mark Ray in fifth. Chris Needham comes home in third. Stefan Goble fourth. Jamie Wilson fifth. Whoa, Pete. Whoa, Pete. Oh, oh, Hang on, oh, baby. Oh. Yeah, just listening <laughs> to the driver chat there. I think he was right, Sam. I think the uh, top three oh, in CCR this. did take tires. Block him, JB. Block him. Whoa, get him Whoa. in the wall. That's it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, turn round, you can get across the line before him. Reverse! <laughs> Go <Jeffy>. on! Yes! <laughs> Pete, he's stuck. He cannot move. I don't think he can turn. Oh, right no, back. that's a shape of Pete, though. Must be missing a wheel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, what a what a finish to the race! That was brilliant. Well, it's not over for Pete. He's not oh, crossed that, the line. That's dangerous from back. GB. He's, he's going to push him across the line, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! Brilliant, really. That was great. He, he has not crossed the line yet. No, he hasn't. <laughs> oh, Pete. <laughs> terrible. Uh, terrible. Oh, my God. Uh, let's just have a look. So we got, was it a couple of cars coming across the line now? And that should be everybody finished. Everybody's finished. Pete Bingham's classified as out. That's terrible after all that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, that was that was a great finish. All great right, finish. here's the official results for the GT4 version of this race. Uh, Wobbly Kneecap comes home first for BSTV Esports Pink. Tyler Newitt second, 1.2 seconds behind, and BSTV Esports Orange. Third was a nice drive by Chris Needham. Uh, 
Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. RWC Racing Black. Fourth, Stephen Goble, VTS Esports. Another nice job. Fifth, Jamie Wilson and Team Chimera. Sixth, Marco Lewert, who doesn't drive GT cars and VTS Esports. Seventh, Jason Haddington. Jason, never quit, man. Good for you. Come home in seventh, RWC Racing Black. And Martin Van Sluven, unfortunately, had a bad uh, deal with, a, with an internet problem, so he finishes eighth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, bad day at the office for Martin. So, um, after that fantastic TCR battle, um, why did <laughs> Ben so McCarthy is your TCR winner for Alpine Stars Geodesic Racing? Teammate Sam Belize in second, Stephen Walker third, Spectre Six Purple fourth was Gary Craig, BS TV Esports Green, fifth was Shane Powell, Spectre Six. That's wrong. Why is Michael Gray ninth? Oh, he must have been through the incident limits. Yeah, he must have been, yeah. Oh, um, no. so, oh my. So, uh, yeah, our official result says that Shane Powell is fifth for Spectre 6 Purple. Russell Cowell uh, in sixth for Spectre 6. Matt Elmore in seventh for Spectre 6. Rob Venn in eighth for BSTV Esports Pink. Michael Gray demoted to ninth for XVR Sim Racing. Uh, Arno Chenonier in tenth for RWC Racing White. Roger Moore in eleventh, work guard by result. JB Deju twelfth, LMT Racing. Charles Kellyman uh, in thirteenth for Optical. 14th, Martin Brennan, safeguard by result. 15th, Ralph Cullinan, result clothing, iRacing team. Duncan Cope, 16th, privateer. 17th, uh, Pete can't get across the line, Bingham, BSTV Esports, green. Carl Hardy in 18th for safeguard by result. Ollie Ricks in 19th for Spyro by result. Dale Benison in 20th for Spyro by result. Andy Littler, work guard by result in 21st. And another driver to suffer with internet problems. David Ayres rounds out your field in 22nd for result clothing i racing team Woo! right um where do we start with that guys um tcr battle let's start with that um absolutely fantastic wasn't it um five cars in it up till the pit stop um we've seen what tires do now and what tires don't do so um yeah uh absolutely fantastic battle um gt4 um obviously a week week and a half ago uh we was wondering whether we would have a gt4 fields um we got eight cars and uh i think that's going to be a, a a good championship um bill what did you make of all that wow i'm out of breath i, I was very impressed uh nice teeth uh, not the not to uh, put down the GT4 cars, but I have to tell you, the TCR field was immense. Really did a great job. Uh, wobbly kneecap came through. Didn't have to do a rage quit today. Came home first. For a nice job by him. And uh, Rob Ben, his first time out in a TCR, but he found out it's not as easy to drive one of those as he thought. But he came home in eighth place. Well done. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, obviously, first round of the season. We've got a lot of drivers wanting an interview. So, first up, let's bring in our GT4 winner. Wobbly hey, kneecap. Wobbly kneecap. Hey. Hey. Um, <laughs> walk in the park, wasn't it? Uh, actually, it, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Tyler, yeah. Had nothing for you. No. No, I, 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 I kind of underestimated how much fuel the McLaren needed, so I did not have a fuel number starting, and um, uh, halfway through I was like, oh god damn it, I have to save an old lap. Um, so I had to back off and make sure that the race didn't go 29 laps or something. Um, yeah, well, it. I think if, if, without saving I would have probably been like, clear for like 10 or 15 seconds, but I was, until 5 minutes for the end, I, I was still unsure if I would make it. <laughs> Okay, um, and how did you find the McLaren? 
it's a hideous car, but apparently I can't change it because everybody's busting my balls about it. Um, it's it, it's way too under theory. It breaks differently every time you brake, and um, if I would own one, I would be sad. I don't think I would if I owned one, but. Uh... <laughs> Uh, so, you know, uh, as we said, you know, you, you, apart from a bit of fuel saving, um, you know, we knew Tyler would save fuel. Um, he tried to do something by, by going a, a lap longer, but ultimately, um, didn't get anywhere near you. Um, so yeah, good start to the season. Um, and uh, what are your chances of doing the full season? Um, yeah, I'm trying to do as much as I can. I'm not quite sure if I'm able to do every race. Um, depends on a week by week basis. Um, but I, I'm really trying to get every race in. Uh, and, and to be honest, I, I kind of miss, I, I want to give a shout out to, to Simon because I really miss him. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know why he's not here. I, I hope he gets back to GT first because it, only Tyler is too bad and Simon is the only one who can challenge me. Yeah, so I think Simon's having a, a season off. Um, uh, you may not have been around when the Mika team was involved, but nope. uh, there's rumours of them signing up again, and if they jump in the GT4 field, they've got two fast drivers that uh, are certainly going to put it to you. Um, so we got a lot <laughs> of interviews to yeah. get through, so um, any shout-outs before we let you go? Uh, shout out to the guys in the Discord, especially Tyler, Gary, and uh, Pete, and JB, because he ran Pete off. Apparently, I want to rewatch that. Yeah, uh, watch uh, that, I, mate. I, <laughs> watch I, that. I'm in love with JB now. He ruined my race. I, like, I was cheering. Fast, but... I'm going to send him some money. <laughs> yeah, you better do it. No, I, I mean, Tyler and me, we, we, we really tried to, to work as a team, and I think it worked out properly. One, two, uh, we're, we're pretty happy about that. Yeah, brilliant. Um, okay then, mate. So, uh, well, hopefully we'll see you next time out. Um, our Race 1 GT4 winner, Wobbly Kneecaps. All right, cheers. Okay, so let's stick on the winning theme and bring in our TCR winner, Spencer McCarthy. Welcome to the booth. Hello, Claudio. Hello. Um, that was a hell of a race, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good fun, wasn't it? It was, uh, um, first bit was quite, quite close. Yeah, it, five cars, um, and we kept saying, you know, somebody get the blanket out because we can cover them all. Yeah. Um, and then um, we, we sort of, or, or me and Bill, because we're stupid, was wondering how you three managed to pull away from Gary and Michael. And then Sam pointed out that he thought that you three, all three of you took tyres. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Uh, and it's a weird graphics glitch it didn't look like Stephen behind me in the pits took tyres his car didn't go up in the air and Sam obviously was t a couple of pit stops back and he said that Stephen's car didn't go up on up on the jacks so I, I guess we don't do you not see that in the in the pits I don't know so first yeah, thing I really noticed do. it yeah, yeah you we... see it but it was weird that I didn't see it I just thought yeah I can't remember who we was looking at, but somebody was about six foot up in the air. So, um, <laughs> nice. yeah. Yeah, so well, we like took tyres. And, I, and yeah. I reckon we were about a second off the pace after half halfway through. And I thought, well, if you, if you put a full tank of fuel in, you're going to be easily a second and a half off. And if it only loses you five, six seconds, you'll make that back. So, and yeah, when we came out, I mean, those Civics were, yeah, they were just sort of, you know, mobile chicanes when we came out. Yeah, we you know you couldn't uh, you couldn't call that race. You know there was there was no clear um, advantage to anybody in the first half, and then between you and your teammate um, and who else was that? Oh, it was Lucky Walker was up there as yeah, well. Um, uh, you know, either any of you three could have took that that race yeah. victory, but sure. ultimately. Um, you know the records will show that that you won round one um and everybody that has watched the broadcast and everybody that will watch it will uh, see what absolutely fantastic racing you boys um you, you know we was talking about officials and i know there's been a lot of moaning and groaning about the officials but you know league races you guys are, are respectful you you know each other really well you know how everybody drives uh, and, and it just makes for better racing 
Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, I did a race in TCR last season um, with um, Stephen uh, Lucky Walker. And um, it was just awesome. It was just, you know, yeah, yeah, we're close to each other, but there's plenty of respect. And I just thought that was, you know, it seems seems like a really nice bunch of guys in here this, this season. So let's hope that we can, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it clean and point in the right way. Yeah, definitely. Okay, mate. So um, before we let you go, any shout outs you want to give? Uh, just a big shout out to Sam. He did a stellar job on the setup this time around. Um, Sam Blees. Um, yeah, it just the car felt great and it and it lasted on the tyres really well. So yeah, hats off to him. Excellent. Well, um, congratulations on your win. Um, congratulations on kicking the season off um, in the right direction with some fantastic racing. Uh, Spencer McCarthy, TCR winner, round one. Hey, thanks, guys. Cheers. Okay, so let's go to uh, let's go to runners up now and bring in Mr. Tyler Newitt, second place in GT4. Welcome to the booth. Hello. Hello. So um, obviously we've had Wobbly in. Um, Wobbly has, has pointed out that he is far superior to you in in every way, shape, and form. Um, Except I know fuel you're saving. <laughs> I know that you are probably not going to be able to do all the races this season, but um, with Wobbly in this sort of form, what can you do? Uh, if he's got that form this season, not much. Uh, <laughs> it was only as close as I was today because we needed to save a spot of fuel and I was doing it from the start and he wasn't. Um, that was really the only thing that kept me there. Um, the traffic helped a little bit, but he was only being extra cautious because he knew he had the pace to pull away. So that was, uh, it was certainly, it certainly added a new, uh, dynamic to the race with just the sheer amount of TCRs we had to get through and at a shorter track, like, uh, I don't know, Knock Hill or something like that. Uh, it's going to be really interesting for the GT4s. Yeah, that, I, I was, I was wondering what word you was going to use then and i think interesting is probably the best one of the bunch it's going to be worth a watch for sure because i was also being relatively cautious and i still had to make a couple of if not risky moves but not you know i had to take some chances just to make sure that i didn't lose you know all of my time to wobbly so um it's really fun to be honest um and and i wouldn't want to go back to when there were fewer TCRs because yeah. any anything to, to shake up the racing I think is a good thing and it certainly does um, but yeah if, if Wobbly's got that sort of pace everywhere else we go this season um, uh, there's not much I or anyone else could do I was pushing pretty much 10 tenths there for the last 10 laps or so and just hanging on do you, do you think um, we're going to have another one of those seasons where there will be tracks where the, the Porsche is the go-to car? Um, I don't know. I, I, I really honestly don't know. Um, it, Wobbly is so quick that there he might negate the you know car advantage at the tracks where it does have one. Um, but that's not to say it won't be closer. Also, he's also you know, we've I've done races with him at Road America before. He he's good around this track, so I have a little glimmer of hope that he won't be unstoppable um, for for me or for the rest of the field for the rest of the season. I think he's you know definitely not not unbeatable, but it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. Well, if he wins too many races, I'll uh, I'll have a word with his wife and get him grounded again, so uh, <laughs> you can claw some points back on him. Um, anyway, mate, we've still got uh, a few interviews to go. Um, any shout outs you want to give before we let you go? Uh, yeah, shout out to you guys for the broadcast as usual, um, and for uh, continuing to run a great series. Um, shout out to the team and everybody in the chat: uh, Wobbly, Gary, Pete, JB. Rob, <laughs> sorry, Rob. Um, shout out to everybody in the the team chat, and uh, yeah, everybody who signed up to race. Clearly, the the TCR is a popular car, and hopefully, the GT fours can can hang on to the numbers, and and this series is great. So long may it continue. 
Yeah, and uh, watch the end of the race, and then that will be a double shout out to JB. Believe me, I just about lost my hearing the the last you know few <laughs> minutes. So I was on the cool down lap between you guys and JB and Pete Gary in the chat. So yeah, definitely gonna have a look back at that. Excellent. Well, congratulations on your second place, and we'll see you next time out. Thank you. Okay, guys, so we're rattling through them now. Next up, we have our second place TCR driver, Sam Blees. Welcome to the booth. Hello. Hello. So, what, are you in the toilet? No. Uh, <laughs> my, mic my microphone might be a bit echoey. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, yeah, it sounds like you've gone for a post race poo or something. Uh, I have not. I can, I can assure you that. Bear one, one second. I might be using the wrong mic. Uh, oh no, uh, it's the right mic. It's just echoey. Sorry. I, I've oh, just got this picture in my mind now of you sat on the throne with your pants around oh, your ankles. please. Come out. Never yeah. mind. <laughs> um, so, um, when we spoke to your teammate, Spencer, um, we were saying, you know, first half of the race, um, five of you, um, you know, and you was swapping places whenever you wanted to. Um, yeah. And then, you know, Gary and Michael didn't take tyres. Other three did. And uh, it certainly proved the difference in the end. Yeah, we, we we were pretty sure going in that we needed tyres. So we sort of set up, assuming we were taking tyres, planned out the strategy that way. And we, we were monitoring and got quite happy when we saw Gary and Michael not take tyres on the, on the timing screen. So... Um, but yeah, yeah. It certainly played into our hands quite nicely. Yeah, and then obviously the second half of the race, once you guys had, had dropped Gary and Michael, um, again, you know, you three could have finished in any order um, on the podium, you know, however many different ways of you three finishing, because the race certainly wasn't over at that point. No, not at all. We all had very similar pace. I think Spencer... I think me, me and Steve were, were, could literally have traded places every lap if we if we wanted to, but we were trying to obviously not take each other off and and not lose too much time to Spencer. I think Spencer had a bit of an edge at that point. I think he was he was a little bit faster in the hotter conditions, um, and he was just trying to manage his fuel, as he's probably told you. I don't know. Uh, so it was uh, it was a case of can we make him go fast enough to run out of fuel or not? But yeah, no, it was he, a really good race. He didn't mention his fuel. He just told us that he, you know, talent-wise, he's head and shoulders above everybody else. So uh, he he's going to win every race. Well, you know, you know what they say. Try and come to <laughs> um, maybe, maybe maybe I won't do a setup next time. We'll see. Well, he did thank you for the setup. Yeah. So oh, okay, you okay. know, my, my, I will then. Here's a top tip for you. Yeah, send him the default setup and tell him you've worked on it for hours. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And, and don't share him your setup. I just give him what we've not enough fuel. Yeah, yeah, or, or, <laughs> or give him one for the Jetta or something. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ultimately, you know, great start to the season um, for you. Um, even better start to the season for the team. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, lots to play for this season. And uh, you certainly started off in the right direction anyway. Yeah, it was, a, it was a really good fun race and thank you guys for putting it on and thank you Stephen and Gary and Michael and, and Spencer of course for, for making it really close and, and hard fought at the front and yeah, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't have gone better from my point of view, very very happy Excellent, well I don't have to ask you if you want any shout outs because you've already done them yeah. um, so congratulations on your second place Thank you. I, I do have what yes, it was yes. second, but I do have one question because not that I haven't read the rules thoroughly and in detail. But no, is there a fastest lap? Oh. Of course you haven't. Um, fastest lap? Yes, I do believe you get some points for fastest lap. Okay. And even though I write the rules, I am busily scrolling through now to make sure I'm not telling you any lies. The driver with the fastest lap in each race will receive three bonus points. Nice. So there you go. I think go. that was me. I'm not. I'm not certain, but I think that was me. Uh, oh, see, now I'm looking at that as well. You I'm, did a twenty point one one. So two, yes, it was you. One two something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. On our screens, you did a one one, and Spencer did a one three. So nice. there you go. Happy Christmas. Three bonus points. I do. I take it. I can't say <laughs> <like> so many <laughs> incidents. <laughs> right. Well, um, we will let you finish off your poo. 
Um, congratulations <laughs> again on your third place, and we'll see you next time out. Second place, second, second place. place. Sorry, I keep trying to relegate you to third. Yeah, I'd, I'd prefer it if you didn't. Yeah, well, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll add something to the rules that I'm allowed to. So, you know, oh, okay. I'm good at yeah. that. Just Michael All right, Masby. mate. Well, congratulations on your second place, Sam. Please. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys. Right, I'm sure he was having a poo. Um, let's bring <laughs> in uh, Mr. Stephen, not so lucky Walker. Um, mate, that was a hell of a race, though, wasn't it? Even though you didn't win. Yeah, I, I got so unlucky. It, it, I can't believe it. But uh, uh, yeah, next time um, I might get them. But ultimately, that was brilliant racing. I loved every single second of every part of that race. And I'd rather that than drive off in the distance. So yeah, I'm more than happy with that, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. Um, so obviously, you've got that big challenge to your uh, your double championship now from these Alpine Stars geodesic racing guys. Um, how are you going to get your teammates quicker so that they can be up there helping you? Put them in a GT4, I think. <laughs> not, no, yeah, not a bad call to be honest. Um, but you could certainly do with some help up there because they they did work as a team, um, and ultimately it worked out for them, didn't it? Yeah, they they obviously they've been in the team together quite a while or so, I believe. So uh, yeah, they did uh, some good teamwork to be fair. But uh, it might not be like that on every track. Um, we'll see how it goes throughout the season. There's with them guys being in here and there's a lot well there's a lot of fast guys now as well like to join me and gary and that so it's going to be like i think it'll be like that for a lot of the races so um i think on the races where draft isn't so much an issue which i don't think there's many of this season it might be even closer but um yeah we'll, we'll work with the guys and try and bring them up there as well to get them into this group to just make it like six seven strong um, right at the front and it'll be uh, I think it'll be a great season to be honest I'm really looking forward to it like, I'm, I, there's no pressure on me at all like I know championship there is, one, mate, there is like, there's a target me. on my car but yeah we're going to mention it every week <laughs> good that's fine by me <laughs> <laughs> um, so you know from a from a, a bum in the seat driver's point of view um, how much fun is that racing Guys like that, so, uh, take the the first half of the race when there was five of you swapping positions within a couple of Crazy. inches of each other. Um, uh, that's what you, what we all do it for, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah. This literally that's it. That's the def very definition of fun for I think anyone that races on here. So um, I am looking forward to more of that throughout the season. And that was ten out of ten, if not eleven out of ten. We'll turn it all the way up to eleven. Um, Strategy, you thinking strategy wise, you thinking where I am on the track, where do I want to be? Um, a lot of things are going to come into play like that. I think the next track is Watson, Watkins Glen, I think, which yeah, is yeah, the, the boot uh, version. Oh, I despise that track, so yeah, right. just, well, there's a, there, with. Just, just remember that, Bill. There's a win coming up. <laughs> there, there will be <laughs> if I. If Maybe I win a race this there. season, I'll be happy. Like I'm happy to yeah. get on the podium this. I'm not having none of that. Race. <laughs> I'm not having that at all. But you know, from a broadcasting point of view, you guys put on. Uh, well, sure to be fair, you know everybody, uh, and I'm not discounting the GT4s. Um, you know, but you're a TCR driver. We're talking about the TCRs. There was great battles throughout that field. You know, even the guys running down in 15th, 16th, 17th were battling for every position. Um, and, and it's great. Uh, and, you know, I, though got those guys down there look up to you guys in uh, talent-wise, look up to you in the, the leaderboards. Um, but... It, it's difficult, isn't it? When, when you're up the top, you're 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 fighting for hundreds and thousands of a second, whereas yeah. the, the guys below you can can come on in in leaps and bounds, as we've seen with you know the likes of um, in TCR Shane Powell, Russell Cowell. You know that they're, they're 
they're starting to get up there now. Um, Arno Shanonier today, I've never seen him as racy as I've seen him today. Um, and them guys stick at it. They're, they're going to be up there with the with the Lucky Walkers and the Spencer McCarthys, aren't they? Yeah, hundred percent. It's uh, it's all about seat time in these cars, or well, any car really. So I'm sure by the end of the season they'll all be quicker as well in um, getting up to the groups just above them. And it's just little steps at a time. It doesn't happen overnight. You have to put the work in, obviously. Like, uh, but it's 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 just great to race. We all do it because we love racing. It doesn't matter. I, I wouldn't mind if I was in 14th racing as well. It's as long as it's good and clean. It's it's all good. All good. Yeah, and, and one final question. Um, obviously, up until this season, we've only ever seen you in the Audi because that's all we've had. Um, what do you think of that uh, Elantra now that you've done a, a league race in it? Um, happy with your choice? Yeah, very much. So. As soon as it's as soon as I saw them announced, it's the only one I really wanted anyway. Um, and then I jumped in it, and obviously around Knockhill, it was like the most amazing combination ever i did try the honda a couple of days later and just didn't quite gel with it as much the hyundai seems to suit my driving style um and they all seem quite good on the bop i did a the official last night quarter past eight and really they were all pretty much matched the same kind of times it literally i think it just depends on the driver as normal so um as a car i really like it it sounds really good and it's something it's something to drive different than the audi which is good as well i'm, I'm, gl I'm glad there are some audi still on the uh, on the uh in the league as well because uh, it's still a really good car i, I did tr try that again after the patch and yeah it was still a really good car to drive yeah excellent okay then mate well before we let you go any shout outs you want to give yeah just the rest of the guys i think they finished uh <laughs> fifth sixth and seventh so that was really good strong um, result in quite a large field as well so I'm really proud of them guys that's really good and then obviously uh, Gary, Mike, um, Sam and Spencer brilliant racing at the front you guys for putting it on and putting up with us and uh, letting me be lucky every week uh, and then yeah my, my brother is my little cheerleader as well excellent well <laughs> congratulations on your podium finish and uh We'll see you out next time at Watkins Glen, where I'm pretty sure you're going to be top step of the podium because you've told us you hate it. Yeah, so, put, a, uh, put a smile on your face. Not, not a chance. <laughs> Absolutely no chance. But thanks, guys. I appreciate yeah, it. So, well, thanks for joining us as usual. Stephen Walker. Cheers, guys. Take care. Right, guys, so um, some interesting comments there from our drivers in the interview room. Um, it's time for me to put you on the spot. Um, and I'm going to start with Sam because he's been very quiet. Um, your driver of the meeting, please, Sam. Well, we are still doing this. I was, I'm not prepared. <laughs> well, you've got to be. Um well, I don't know. Good call. Very for, good call. For everything um, you said. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, and I, I do mean that. Um, uh, he's the raciest I've, I've ever seen him, and uh, I do hope that continues for the rest of the season. Perhaps he's finally getting to grips with that TCR. Um, so Arno Shinonier is Sam's vote. Um, Bill, your driver of the meeting, please. Chris Needham. Uh, Chris Needham's come a long way since he started with us. He looked really good. Uh, you know, uh, Tyler and uh, Wobbly were faster than him, but boy, he put up a hell of a fight trying to catch him. So Chris Needham for me. Yeah, and another good call. Um, great race um, there from Chris. And like you say, um, and to anybody that's watching, any teams out there that are thinking about joining but think, you know, we're not quite quick enough, um, the R RWC guys won't mind me saying um, they joined us, I think, a couple of seasons ago, maybe three seasons ago. Um, they wasn't. Uh, they, they wasn't slow by by my standards anyway um but you know they weren't up there um they've done a few car swaps and things like that but all three of them um uh, uh you know you can see the steps that they're making improvement wise every single season and yeah that they'll be 
they, they, they'll be up there, no doubt. Um, and uh, for me, um, I, I, as you know, I, I certainly don't pick winners. Um, and I hate agreeing with Sam or Bill or Yaz or Pete or Stacey or Wobbly or Tyler, whoever's in the booth. Um, but I'm going to have to agree with Bill. Um, I, it was for me, it was between Chris Needham and Arno Shanonier. Um, but I'm going to give it to Chris, um, purely because I, 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 I really, really thought he drove well tonight, um, as well as getting on the podium. Um, and I'm sure at some point in the season, um, Arno is going to get my vote anyway, especially if he carries on driving the way he is. So, um, that is a fantastic round one, um, over done and dusted. Um, we've still got a couple of races for you before Christmas. So, um, this Saturday, we're back in Porsche action with the 992 Challenge. Um, you'll be pleased to know we do have a professional cameraman for that. Um, Sam will be driving, um, which is always a good giggle. So uh, our professional cameraman will be ready with the slow motion button. Um, that comes to you from the Hockenheim circuit. Um, the GP layout, we have rounds three and four, a 30 minute race followed by a 60 minute race. So make sure you tune in for that. And then next week, um, as you've already heard, we are back in this series for round two from Watkins Glen, a totally different track to Road America. Um, a track, as I said before, can sometimes give a bit of controversy um also a newly scanned track from i racing so uh the guys even though you know looking at it you might think it's exactly the same it is different um and you know these guys haven't got thousands and thousands and thousands of laps already logged on it so that is going to be another fantastic race so um big thanks to sam and to bill for joining me in the booth um a get well soon to yaz uh yaz's wife um how well um a big thanks to yaz's wife just for putting up for yaz in the first place um but really? uh, she's been unwell and also um uh, yaz's children uh, are unwell as well so we hope they all recover nice and speedily um, big thanks to all of our viewers um, and everybody that joins in on the chat. We do appreciate it. And this week, uh, my biggest thanks goes to the drivers um, for we know what a good show that they put on. And when you go into a new season and we've got new cars and we've got bigger fields and you never know what's going to happen. Um, but. They've just carried on where we left off in season six. And uh, this season is looking like it's going to be absolutely fantastic. So it is time for me to close the broadcast. Um, I shall say good night. Let Bill and Sam good say good night to you good folks. And then we will close. Um, so good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Uh, as usual, make sure you drop this video a like, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube, make sure you follow us on Facebook, you will never miss any of the action, and if you want to get involved in any of our series, all the sign-ups are on our website. So, good night, everybody. Yeah, good night, everybody, and thanks for the people that have joined us. Uh... Things are looking up. I think we're going to have one heck of a series here this year. It's uh, with the new cars and pretty good field. If we can get a few more cars in GT4, we'll be we'll really be burning it down. So uh, good night, everybody. And for those that have joined us, thanks a bunch. And uh, have a good evening. And good night, everybody. Let's enjoy that final crash of the night. It was great. <laughs> thanks, JB. <laughs>